So hey everyone, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial here on uh, using your Apple Loops to uh, change with a chord progression because uh, normally they're just, you know, a loop uh, the same pattern, same notes. So um, right now I've got this, this bass line and this synth pattern here. Um, nothing too fancy, I'm just doing this for demo purposes. But as you can see, it's just looping the same part. Um, so I'm going to go to this uh, piano sound here. And I'm going to lay down some chords. I'm going to do that just with the drum beat. And the piano. So. Alright, nothing too fancy obviously, but <clears throat> just G, C, D, back to G. Um, I would quantize these two, but they actually look pretty close, so you get your uh, chord changes right in the downbeat. But uh, actually, I'll just quantize them anyways. They're really close, so quantize that just a little bit. Um, so. Now here comes the, uh, how you get this to change. Um, it's kind of hidden in Logic. You have to go to Global Tracks, and as you can see, there's a thing for tempo, signature, and markers. And if you go up to here to View, configure Global Tracks. This chord thing right here. Just click on that. Done. And you want to analyze. Uh, MIDI file. In this case, just the piano part I put down here, and that's already selected, so highlighted. I'm just going to analyze that real quick, and it gives me G, C, D, and G as the chords. And I'm going to mute it actually, and just play back the part. So now we've got these sequences playing in uh playing along with the chords. And of course they're kinda uh raise it up at all an octave. Bass is kinda low too, so I'm gonna bring that up an octave as well. This works with audio too, just for the. But sometimes when you stretch audio too crazy. So those are the audio, uh, audio Apple loops, and of course when you audition new loops now too, they're gonna. Uh, I'll go along to that this chord progression here. All right, so also you can uh, you can change these chords too. Just click on them. And you get this chord box. Uh, you, get, you know, major, minor, augmented, diminished, sounded fourth, what have you. Um,
So that's that's pretty cool too if you just want to change chords around. Um, Alright, so uh, that's how you do that. Talk to you soon.